hello um so i don't know where to start with this video really um Yeah, I haven't made many videos recently because I've not been well physically and mentally. Um, I just wanted to do this video really to kind of talk about what's going on really. Um, uh, uh, but I don't know where to start really because... Well, my physical health basically has got worse, so I'm struggling to get around now. Um, I literally need a wheelchair now to get around, um, and I did a fundraiser on Facebook to be able to get the funds to get one of those, because uh, I can't afford one myself because I don't have PIP yet, and I don't think I'm ever going to get PIP so yeah um nearly made enough on the fundraiser for the electric wheelchair a couple of hundred off um but my mental health has been worse getting worse as well my mental health is at that stage where I know I need to get the help, but I desperately need to get the help. But I know that ringing them up, ringing up the mental health team, is going to cause more appointments. And I have enough appointments at the moment, and I don't have the energy to deal with those appointments and I don't have much money so getting to the appointment sometimes is tricky um, and I have a lot going on and I just don't want to add to it but I know I need to get the help um, because at the moment my mental health is at that stage where suicidal thoughts have just become a normal everyday thing um which is really bad um because that shouldn't be a normal everyday thing shouldn't be waking up thinking oh oh darn i didn't die in my sleep what a shame you know um You know, so, um, and like, see, this is where I'm bad for ignoring my own advice because I always say your mental health is important, you should prioritize that, you should get help for that when you need it. And I'm always saying, be open and honest about mental health. You know, don't... You know, don't put it off for another day. But I'm ignore I've been ignoring that advice for the past couple of months. Which is really bad, I shouldn't. I'm setting a good example, Suki. Well done. Not. Um... <laughs> um but it's just there's so much going on and I just I've been thinking to myself right if I can get these appointments out of the way if I can get this thing out of the way then it'll be all right then I can do that then I can ring up and sort out my mental health 
and then when I get them five minutes free it's like well I'm so knackered I just want to recover from everything else I've done in the past couple of weeks you know so I think I'll rest and recover and then I'll sort out the mental health thing but then the mental health thing gets pushed aside again for some other appointment or something you know and it's it's got to the stage now where it's like I want to and I know I have to but I just can't bring myself to do it mentally can't bring myself to ring up and speak to the mental health team and say to them that I really need help you know um um you know um and at the moment the my physical health because that's gone downhill that's dragging my mental health downhill as well and vice versa so i just keep thinking if i can sort out my my mobility aids and get this electric wheelchair i can get out and about more which will help with my independence my freedom and that help with my mental health that help me socialize that help me get out and about and give me some motivation and stuff which yeah it probably will do all those things probably will but still i need the help for my mental health because i'm not coping well with my physical health going downhill I've tried to prepare myself for it as much as possible but and I thought I was prepared I thought I was prepared for this for my mental health to go downhill you know I've been preparing for ages I knew that it was going to happen sooner or later that it would degenerate more and more until the f until I couldn't actually walk on my own and stuff you know um I knew it would get to this point and I've been trying to prepare myself for it but you know you can prepare yourself as much as you like but it still hits you like like a rock when it happens you know um so um and you know and it's it's been tough to to deal with because where i had my dla my disability benefits stopped because they were replacing dla with pip personal independence payments um uh they stopped my dla so i had to claim for pip now I'm on my second claim. My first claim took three years, something like that, and it was a no and I didn't get it in the end, so I started a new claim. This new claim took almost two years. Um, I finally got the, the appeal date, which was quite good but then i realized it wasn't because the people who were helping me with it all along turns out they're not actually qualified in benefit law cab citizens advice bureau they're not qualified in in benefit law apparently uh, but they were telling me all along they were and they were going to be there fighting my corner and then last minute they referred me to SARC, who are uh, qualified in benefit law, and I should have been referred to them straight away at the beginning, you know, because CAB helped fill out the form, then they're supposed to refer you to SARC, but they didn't. CAB told me that SARC don't do, deal with PIP anymore or benefits, that they CAB that does. So the SARC person I spoke to the other day has complained on my behalf to CAB. Um, 
but she also said that it's going to detriment my case and I could lose it now because she only has a week to build a case for appeal and build an argument for appeal. It's not much time at all when you think about what goes into appeals and what goes into building it and they've got to look at every point and question on the in the assessment report and on the original form and see where they can argue and see if they can get me more points by arguing that and arguing the lies in the assessment report all that kind of thing you know um build a case for me there they've got a week less than a week now to do it um, and I have an appointment with them tomorrow to sort that out but it looks like it's not going to go well it looks like I'm going to lose Pip again and I don't have the energy or the good health to fight it again to go and do another claim or what, whatever and I know people are going to say but you have to keep claiming you have to keep fighting it I don't have the energy to keep fighting it. I don't have the good mental health to keep fighting it. To be honest, I just want to give up with everything. You know, I just want to give up with everything that is to give up on, including life, you know, because I, I can't be bothered with it at the moment. I can't, it's, I don't have a life anymore. I just have stress anxiety and depression pain physical and mental pain tiredness more than tiredness is exhaustion fatigue and it's just i don't want to do this anymore i don't want to be here anymore this isn't life this is just I don't know what it is it's a big steaming pile of shit that's what it is and and the thoughts in my head at the moment are really bad and I just have to I've been trying to ignore it but you know, um, this is why I need the mental health help. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get that. I say I'm going to try, I'm probably going to put it off again. Just see what happens tomorrow and see what happens with this Pippa Bill. Um, But yeah, I will keep you all updated on it. Um, hopefully I'll get the pip, hopefully that... If I don't get pip, then... I don't know what's going to happen. So yeah, this video is probably going to end on a negative note or whatever. And I know people are going to say, oh, you need to stay positive. And I have had people tell me that recently. And all I've wanted to do is punch them in the face. I'm sorry, but I have. Oh, I'm not usually a violent person, but at the moment with my mental health the way it is and my physical health and the way life is for me at the moment, I have nothing to be positive about and no amount of posit positivity is going to fix any of this, you know? So when people come up to me all happy and cheery like, oh, be positive, it'll all be alright, you just need to think positively. I just want to punch them in the face. I just think violent thoughts when they say that. Um, because 
that doesn't help me, that just makes me feel worse because I have nothing to be positive about. And they say, oh, you have your health. No, I don't. I don't have my health. You have your life, if you can call it a life. It's more like a pile of shit. Um, you know, so, but yeah, I will keep you updated. I'm going to end this video here because I'm going to go and have a cup of tea, play some video games and then have an early night because I've got this appointment with Sark tomorrow that's probably going to go horribly and yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you all later. Bye bye.